Hello everyone, uh, this is Peter. So nice to see you again on Sunday. Uh, welcome to another week of the Australian Real Estate News Weekly Highlight. Uh, this week uh, is the Easter long weekend. A lot of people are going away, sort of in the traditional market. It's a quiet time. People are giving a break. Uh, not many auctions are scheduled and not many uh, sales will happen traditionally. However, uh, you know, this is not a traditional year. Uh, this is not a traditional market. Uh, people are still buying, a lot of auctions still scheduling, even though there's a lot less than what it was before, uh, you know, over the past few weekends, but there's still a lot of strong demand, strong buyers on the market purchasing. Uh, when we will take you to have a look and dig into this uh, story today. Uh, before we start, uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, if you like it and make some comments um, below if you are uh, interested in anything to say, uh, please let us know. We would love your feedback. We will improve our channel based on your uh, feedback. And also, um, uh, for uh, people who are interested in who we are, please check out uh, Plus Agency's website at plusagency.com.au and come to our Chesu flagship store uh, to say hi. And we would love to spend some time with you, sit down, go to the market, and what we we'll have. Uh, all right, with no further ado, let's get things started. First thing is that uh, Sydney auctions, first home buyers uh, are getting a lucky break as Easter fell to dampen uh, buyer demand. Uh, first home buyers are having some rough time. You know, and there's a lot of strong, strong buyers on the market at the moment. Uh, you know, uh, in the picture, that's Brandon uh, and Joanne Bell. Uh, they are the purchaser uh, of a beautiful two bedroom house in Yelikart uh, for one point. Five nine million dollars. Uh, it's just the price now. It is what it is what the price now. So um, uh, you know, traditionally uh, in Easter time, there's not that many people buy, but this Easter is a little bit different. Even though we have a lot less uh, auction schedule, we saw only fifty. But all of these fifty scheduled uh, auctions, uh, many of the properties will end the hammer of the Saturday so successfully, often well above the reserve price. And property price, especially in Sydney, uh, like a capital like a capital city like this, has been increased by three point seven percent over a month's time, which is just absolutely crazy. Three point seven percent. It just yeah, it's amazing uh, to see how Sydney prices boom at the moment. How many people are actually buying our properties? How many people are thinking about upsizing? Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more in the later article today as well. All right. Nocini, uh, Nocini caught it itself within five days of coming to market. And I like what the uh, editor has said. Uh, if you saw this picture perfect cottage in Nocini in this week's Mosman Daily and were planning to take a look this weekend, it's too late. <laughs> People are selling really fast uh, in this market. This, it is what it is. Uh, you know, something like this, we're just cozy, not too expensive, having uh, a few more bedrooms uh, and studies, uh, even though the living room is a little bit small, uh, it's not very wild, but because beautiful interior uh, and the classic design, people fall in love with it. And you're gonna see some crazy prices uh, before it's even released onto the market. So uh, for, this, for this beautiful place uh, at 52 by Street, it was sold this way with an All right. Another thing, uh, Sydney property boom, buyers seeking post-pandemic lifestyle pushing up prices. Uh, the reason, I think there's a couple of difference between this time's boom compared to the last boom. The last boom was mainly, a lot of people thinking it was caused by international buyers. A lot of people think it was about overseas money. A lot of people were thinking, uh, after a lot of uh, research that shows that investors are the major ones that are pushing up the market. But in this run, uh, this cycle of boom, uh, it was pushed up by local buyers, local money, and it was pushed up uh, by the people who are going to live and occupy them. So it's a very unique sort of uh, market where majority of people buying and paying high prices are not investors, but real owner occupiers, uh, which shows the strong and the real demand uh, in the property prices in the property market. Um, you know, people are thinking about upsizing, people are thinking about, you know, getting bigger places. Uh, even the boss of Westpac Bank, Peter King, has recently noted a lot of people are looking 
go into bigger places, uh, it's a bit of a COVID impact. Next one, uh, we see a lot of celebrity selling, and now we see the celebrity buying as well. Uh, Jack Maddock, uh, this famous uh, sports star of Australia, has recently grabbed a Willara Terrence for $2 million after just five days on the market. Uh, you know, and uh, looks like, you know, it's not just the, you know, people who have families and working 95 job, uh, you know, 95 jobs and all that, uh, you know, sports star, celebrities, everyone is now in the property game. All right, three properties in Pimbos, uh, Maraville Road, sell in the space of two days for big prices. So we talk about Wensing, which is not seen, so in five days. We talk about Wulara, so in five days. And you think five days is, is long, uh, it's short, it's quick, compared to general 30 days, 45 days on the market for average Australian home. Uh, two days is now the new five days. Five days is the new 30, 45 days. So take a look about this one. Uh, so three properties in Pimbo, up on the floor, sold in two days on the same street. Number 48, uh, Maraville Road in Pimbo has sold in just two days, followed by, um, you know, 80, I think it was 86, uh, and then followed by another one that is, uh, there we go, 82. Uh, so there are three of them that were sold in just two days. Absolutely amazing results. And in general, uh, if you're not in Sydney, uh, in general, houses doesn't go this fast. Uh, especially, you know, the price point of these houses, they're not cheap houses. Uh, they're about $4 million houses. But it is what it is. Uh, this is the market now. We're going to see it. How it's getting even hotter. All right. Sydney is showing house prices. Homeowners turns a $30 million profit in exactly one year. So last time we talked about a house in Cherrybrook, people made about half a million dollars in about six months. Now we have another one. Uh, this is from News Corp Australia Network. Uh, Sydney no doubt experienced the sellers market, uh, but Vivendo has ripped the greatest real estate reward by pocketing just shy of $1 million in exactly one year. The property is again in Pimbo, uh, 14 Cross Street in Pimbo, sold at the auction for $1.88 million. Um, this is just, uh, this is just, just crazy. Um, you know, because this one was sold, uh, the two bedroom house uh, was sold at the auction in March uh, 20th, uh, 2020. And now in March 21st, this property has been sold. So almost exactly one year, and it was sold for $2.76 million compared to the $1.88 million that uh, he bought from in just a year. And he hasn't even done much renovation about it at all. The original purpose to buy this two bedroom house was extended and get it built up a little bit, but they end up buying something else. So they sold it and then, uh, you know, it's a million dollar. Absolutely amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing to make a million dollar in just a year uh, in property. And that is why people are into property. All right. And this is one of my favorite. Uh, this home, uh, we used to have another article about it. I was in this home before uh, when COVID happens. Uh, unfortunately, it was a very different market back then. Uh, it was a beautiful made. Justin Bieber used to live in it, uh, and as many other celebrities. And this particular home in Mossman is just a piece of art. Absolutely amazing. Uh, looking beautiful over the uh, Belmoral. Uh, it just, yeah, this, this, this is more than contemporary house at its best uh, possible state. Has been sold for $21.5 million plus. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely. All right, the next one, uh, dentists doubled their money in six years with $20 million sales in one uh, This is another story where people making a lot of money in a short amount of time. And then uh, we're talking about this time, we're not talking about $1 million surplus, we're talking about $10 million surplus in about Six years. Uh, you know, this place was bought. This um, this is a 1920s Harbour Manor at 22 Wentworth Street. It's a beautiful street and been transformed by BKH Architects, which is a very famous architect form locally. Uh, we have done a lot of jobs with them in the period of time. 
and then uh, they bought it for 9.3 million in 2015 and now sold in 2021 for about $28 million. This is why people buy property because Sydney prices are going up and people are making real dollars. Um, and then another one over I mentioned with Wellview sells for 10.05 million. Uh, this is how the auction looks like now. Uh, the reason why I bring it up is that uh, the price guide for this particular property, I think while last road is $9 million. They had an offer at 8.3 and it got knocked back. Then the auction started it. Uh, overlooking the ocean, they started 9 million and it was like $100 million bid was soon flying. And then, um, you know, one after another, uh, one after another, uh, it looks like it's gonna sell at 10 million. Uh, and then uh, uh, Ruben has came in with $25,000 offer, uh, which is uh, one of the buyer, uh, the purchaser sealed the deal with $25,000 more, end up, uh, you know, and then the purchaser will end up waking up to a view. It's absolutely beautiful Pacific region right in front of me. Okay. Uh, this wraps up for the news articles for this week. Uh, looks like we have another booming week, even though it's Easter. It doesn't look like the heat in the market has been reduced, even though it's a little bit less auction scheduled, but uh, people are buying everything that's going on. All right, uh, we have a couple of big ones coming up next week. Uh, and then uh, uh, we have also uploaded a little bit more information about who we are, our company and everything online. Uh, if you're interested, please make sure you check us out. Uh, the YouTube channel has got new uh, footages on it. Uh, apart from the news update, we have a couple of other things as well. Um, you know, come and join us, uh, come and subscribe to us and making sure that you forward to your friends. Uh, for anyone who's interested in Sydney real estate, uh, we're the one to come to. Uh, so please come to us. Uh, all right, this is Peter Lee. Uh, we'll see you next Sunday. Thank you.